Welcome to Poke Quiz, the series where I ask you guys a Pokemon related question and feature my favorite answers in the next episode. Last episode, I asked you guys to draw me a brand new Pokemon, and man, is this art amazing. Let's get into it. Our first piece of art comes from Twitter user Arcanine underscore XP, and this is Lurain, the legendary Pokemon. Its typing is Dragon Steel, and man, does it look menacing. Next up, Twitter user BlueGamer11Dude drew us this really awesome dinosaur Pokemon. It looks really cool, and it can make an awesome fossil Pokemon in Sun and Moon. Twitter user P actually made us this really cool electric water type Pokemon that goes by the name Electrogill. It looks really awesome, and I'm glad to include it in this episode. Twitter user FlamingCreeper3 made Luco, which is clearly based off of me. It has zero attack, zero defense, zero special attack, zero special defense, and somehow negative 13 speed. Its Pokédex entry reads, A freaking loser. Why did you catch this? Thanks, Matt. Next up, Instagram user Fliptastic Maokai sent us this really awesome Pokémon drawing. I like it a lot, and I think the colors of red and blue look really great on it. This could almost be a mythical Pokemon in Pokemon Sun and Moon. I could totally see that, being like the Mew of Generation 7. Next up, Twitter user GLPYT sent us Bane Stockin, the Fighting in Dark type Pokemon. It looks really awesome, and I really love this concept. It's really well put together, and I'd love to catch this thing in Sun and Moon. Following that, JJ Awesome created Ingoat, the Steel Ground type Pokemon. This thing looks awesome. She did a great job at drawing this. It looks kind of like a metallic Tauros almost, even though Tauros is a bull. But still, overall, this thing looks fantastic. Next up, we have three drawings by Lemon Cow, which each look really cool. One looks to be an electric type, one looks to be a fire type, and the last one looks to be an ice type. They're all really well put together, and I think they look just fantastic. Twitter user LornW8 brought a Sproutern, the grass type Pokemon, with the ability Force Restore. This ability makes the Pokemon regain some HP every single turn when it's in a forest. It looks really cool, I really like it. It looks like a new Christmas tree type Pokemon. Next up, Twitter user MegaBlazeKick54 brought us Wisp Hollow, which is a really cool Pokemon. It looks to be fire type and possibly either ghost or electric type, and it looks awesome. Almost like a different type of Rotom, maybe. Another personal favorite of mine comes from Twitter user Neon Heart Pony, or Sakuralite, and it's called Pebellion, which would be a rock type evolution for Eevee. This thing is awesome, and I think it would actually be a really cool fit for Pokemon Sun and Moon. It could possibly live near the volcanoes where all the rocks are being formed, and I think that'd be a really awesome fit. Next up, my friend Twitter user Pokedan4 created us Crapoop, the poison type Pokemon. I think this one explains itself enough. Our first piece of art from Twitter user Paul of Toad is Nadion, the bug type evolution. I've always heard people talking about a bug type evolution, but I always thought it would be really stupid. But after seeing this art, my opinion has completely changed. This is amazing fan art, and I love it. The second drawing from Paul of Toad is Nabion, the psychic type Pokemon. It also gets Magic Guard and synchronized as a hidden ability. This thing is adorable, and I would love catching it. Hey, it could even make a really cool legendary Pokemon. Next up, Twitter user Scotty5403 brought us a complete evolutionary line. An Earth Pokemon, a Saturn Pokemon, and a Sun Pokemon. I think these look really funny and adorable, and I'd love to see them in the next game. Following that, Twitter user Cedrasauce brought us his interpretation of a new grass starter. Now, obviously, we have Roll It for Gen 7. But in Gen 8, we could possibly get Reptrial, the Grass Dragon Pokemon. Grass Dragon is a typing that we've only seen in Mega Sceptile so far, so seeing it on a starter would be insane. Next up, Twitter user Scrawl7136 brought us this really cool Dragon Flying type Pokemon. It's almost like a Sky Snake, almost, but it also has a beak. Either way, I think this thing looks really menacing, and I'd love to battle it and catch it. Following that, Twitter user SSS1994LP brought us Starto. This was his interpretation of a fusion between Staryu and Jirachi. It looks really cool, I like it a lot. Following that, Instagram user Steven Horse brought us Tailfly. He actually gave it two new typings being Alien and Light from my new typings video. <coughs> Ch check out the uh, annotation on the screen to uh, watch that video. <laughs> I'm not a sellout. But yeah, Steven made us this really awesome art. I think this Pokemon looks really mysterious and cool. 
One of the most complex drawings comes from Twitter user Caves. This is called Marshmaluk, the normal type. I've heard that this Pokemon is not only based off me, but it gets the normal type because I'm so boring. Thanks, Tabes. Next up, Twitter user TK Sylveon brought us Dragow, the Ghost Dragon type. So far, the only Ghost Dragon type that we have is Giratina, so seeing it as a normal non-legendary Pokemon, I think would be really awesome. This art is so well done, and I, my favorite part of it has to be the colors and the fire on the tail. It looks really awesome, and I'd love to use this thing in battle. Next up, Winter the Ice Dragon is from Twitter, brought us Rapsion, the electric poison type. We actually don't have an electric poison type yet, so seeing this would be really awesome. It gets the abilities Lightning Rod or Liquid Ooze, and Winter even went the extra mile and drew a shiny version of it too. Thanks, Winter. Next up, WoJ brought us the tomato Pokemon named Fruit Punch, with the typing of Juice. This thing looks really wacky and pretty hilarious, and it'd be pretty fun to see, though I'm not sure Juice would be an actual typing. Another piece of art from user GLPYT is this really awesome skeleton ghost fish called Waltergeist. It looks awesome, and I think it would fit in Sun and Moon perfectly, especially since it's a fish and, you know, we're in Hawaii. The next entry comes from Twitter user Cutie Pikachu, and she has four for us. First off is Unisol which seems to have different moods that affect the Pokemon in a different way. Next up there's Spurlet, the burning soul Pokemon which is fire ghost type. I think this thing looks awesome and I'd love to see it. Next up is Pixel, the peace Pokemon which is fairy and ghost type. This thing looks incredible and I love it a lot and I could totally see this thing using Moonblast and other type of fairy moves. And maybe even a Shadow Ball. And lastly is Venusaur, the toxic Pokemon which is of course a poison and ghost type. These four are all really good, and I think they'd make a good set or could possibly be version exclusives. They just look fantastic. And finally, my favorite drawing comes from Twitter user Hubirds, and it's Voltmire, the Plague Doctor Pokemon. Its typing is Ghost Flying, and it's really cool because it looks like a vulture wearing some sort of witch hat. I think that this thing would be insanely cool to have in-game, and I really like it. This drawing is going to be featured in a special upcoming video that you guys will see within the next few weeks, so definitely stay tuned in that. Thank you so much to everyone who submitted their art, guys. I didn't expect to get this many submissions, and they were all super amazing. I love them. But now, I have another question for you. So, it's the future, and the zombie apocalypse is happening. What Pokemon would you take with you to the zombie apocalypse? and why. Leave your answers in the comment sections below, and I'll use my favorite ones for the next episode of Poke Quiz. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.